Welcome at Smile. Perfectly a perfect Mercedes Illumination. So I woke up. I, uh, no, I am woke. Hey, I rise and shine and I'm grinding my gears as I do. My words are literal. I'm sharing them with you. And I'm sharing Welcome at Smile, not only as an energy and a lifestyle, as all that I am and all that life is. I hope that the intricacy and the literacy of my words not only reaches you, but that you become as enlightened as I know life to be. I am living life with a new roommate. May I show you on my YouTube? Yeah, of course. May I post this on my YouTube? Go for it. Thank you. I call her luscious. I personalize people in my life because my life is personal. I call her luscious because she is in every sense of the word. She's going to share her testimony as she shared it with me so someone else can smile and share the magnitude of the life we are. I write. I am a writer. I have many facets. That being one of my strong suits, I don't sell it. I don't sell my writing. I just produce it and provide it as the gift that it was given to me as. If I sell it, I put a price on it. It's priceless. It means it has so much value that I'm not going to put a price on it because I'm not a sellout. Now, if ever someone deems it worthy of paying me, then I will absolutely take the funding. Right, we all need money, it's a necessity, but I'm giving you the greatness of life. Value it. People ask me, why do I write? Well, in his story, ancestry, scientific experiments, what is written down as fact of matter can be shared throughout time, regardless of the time, and I will always be my eternal soul. So no matter the time, I will always be in some form present. Even if it is through scripture, writing, my soul, spirit, energy. You get it, the literacy of life, you're welcome. <laughs> Priceless. Whoa, mind blowing. If you just got what I said, if you didn't get it, slow it down, play it back, you will eventually if you care to. So I have to go somewhere and uh, I'm gonna take her with me. I share what I know, I share it willingly. It is not for everyone. So if I share with you, it's a privilege. And if you don't feel privileged to receive, get the fuck from around me. And that brings us to what I wanna share with you besides all that I am, the point. Besides all the points I already made, if you're on point, She's so funny, even if it's not funny to you. All right, cool. I know that those that value, they see the worth in their life, life period, can come to this conclusion on their own. But some people don't, so let me share some more. When you have value in your life, life, you understand that you are one of a kind. What is your kind? Human to say the least of all the things that you are. And that's why I say I'm humane. I'm not human, I'm humane. But because I know humans, I know humanity, I know thyself. What you have value in, I value my life, your life, life. I share that all the time, so I don't mind being repetitive. I love you. What you value and understand, you keep. I'm keeping my humanity, and I'm sharing it. Oh my God, this girl's so literal. The profoundness of life. <laughs> I value life so I don't compare myself. There's no comparison. That gives me my esteem, my eccentricity, what I already have. I keep it, I give it to myself, I share it. I'm not extra, I'm extraordinary. She understood through this conversation. She is unique, one of a kind. She said to me, I ain't never felt jealousy. I don't know what it feels like. When I say I never felt boredom, I don't know what it feels like. Right, what is not of you, within you, you cannot feel, you cannot have, you cannot relate to. So, I know for a fact that she has never felt jealousy and I can believe her words because I know the truth. When you have the truth in yourself, you can live in it, identify it in others, and be in it, and keep it. <laughs> when they say, real, recognize real, you don't have to explain, you motherfucking right, but I don't mind explaining to those that don't have it to see if they can come to the truth of themselves. 
Yeah, I got big cojones. All right. So, that being stated, do you understand now that you, 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 the tuner, the one that tunes in to tune up, the one that tunes in and don't give me likes, the one that tunes in and criticizes or can really relate and feel me? Either way, we all greatness. Mm -hmm. You are one of a kind. Yes, we are. There's no comparison to you because there's nothing to compare with against ourselves. One of a kind. You are the greatest measure of yourself. There is no one to compare to or against. You cannot be jealous or anything of that nature or matter because there's no way to start from. It doesn't stem from anything in you. That creates esteem. That creates sex appeal. That creates what people call, she's so conceited and ego. No baby, everything has duality. Yes, I am conceited. I don't need another person to tell me I'm pretty or I know it. I'll take your compliment. Hey baby, self. It starts with you. One in all, all in one. You are the beginning and the end. Oh, oh, oh. She's on one. So that double edged sword of SMI, I processed it as we should process things. And I've expressed to you how it affected my emotions. Through getting through my emotions and expressing my emotions, I'm now past my emotions. <laughs> Get it? Right, living life transparently. I've accepted the SMI label because I now understand what it is, what it stands for, and how it can affect me. And I will take what it can do for me and what I'm not going to allow it to do to me, and I'm gonna thrive in it. So now I have the opportunity as an SMI label person to sit the fuck down and take my time to write as I do, but now I can do it better because the time is no longer on my head. When you have the responsibility of paying bills and all this shit that we put pressure on us, that we don't take the time for ourselves to keep what we are passionate about, when you are as me, I was highly conflicted and struggling, if you haven't noticed on my channel. Not because I'm struggling emotionally with who I am, because I'm struggling financially. I cannot put time into my passions because my responsibilities. Right, I'm gonna take this opportunity that seemed to be hurtful and make the best of it. Now I can take the time to write as I know and continue to share for the greater good of us all. May she bring you some of the greatness she has for love, relativity, and this effect, smile. It's a lifestyle. I hope you understand and live in it. Here you go, baby. So I wanted to share my story, or one of my stories. Testimony. Testimony. It's not fiction. Mm, not at all. So last month, I had a craving for some fudge pops. So I went downtown, I went to Fry's and bought a box. Now, I have nowhere to store them and I'm not gonna eat a whole box of 12 fudge pops before they melt. So that they wouldn't go to waste. I need you to speak a little louder, girl, I'm passionate about you. So they wouldn't go to waste, I then decided to pass them out at the light rail. Passed them out, just, you know, they're free of charge. Some people was like, you sure, there's no cost? Nope, they're free, you know? Again, I didn't want to see them go to waste, and I wasn't going to eat them all, so why not share them? She was fucking rational, reasonable, and wanted to share something that she enjoyed. Meaning, if I like it, and I enjoy it, why wouldn't I want somebody else to feel this? Mm -hmm. And have this? Exactly. Abundance. To mm -hmm. want to share what you have, not because you want to gain from, but because you simply want to provide the same enjoyment, feeling, pleasure selflessness, rational, realistic, all from thyself, given to another being, regardless whether they see it and acknowledge it, they still feel and receive. Mm -hmm. And 
just to show you how fast karma is, because karma is good and it's bad. But karma is karma. what you intended. Yes, it's she what you intended out. good. She got greatness. Yes. So there's a gentleman that I guess goes around and I didn't know who he was prior to doing this. And I had offered him a fudge bar and he handed me an envelope. And I opened the envelope and there's $500 in there. And God is good. God is miraculous. Ooh, because I really, really, really needed it. So it God knows what out. you need. Your heart. Yes. So just know when you're doing something, no matter how big or small it is, that it's going to affect somebody in a good way and it can also it'll also come back to you in this universe one way or another. So remember, what you put out is what you receive. And for the testimony, and this is why I'm sharing it with you, you see all those aspects that I shared of what she did mm -hmm. and how her perspective is now broadened. Mm -hmm. Not only did she give from her heart, like heart and soul, the home, she gave from her home who she is, genuinely because that's who she genuinely is not because of whatever she received the greatness that she is in karma mm -hmm. tenfold money the toilet paper we all need without intending to do so she didn't do it to get money mm -mm. she did it to fulfill her soul her heart and soul which then fulfills her purpose mm -hmm. which fulfilled others people's necessity at the time something sweet or whatever the fuck, something to drink, something cold. And God provided the perfect stranger, as yes. we all are to one another, yep. to fulfill her necessity, money. And with that money, I was actually able to help others. And when I tell you, be the greatness you know yourself to be, it will come back tenfold. Always. Regardless of what people say, do or think, be the greater good for all. I know better. Yep. Soul Tribe, I love her. Have yeah. a blessed day, you guys. And her ear say low key and high key. Mm -hmm. We all have it within us. Mm -hmm. Don't be no low key ass motherfucker. Stay on your high key shit. It's key. It'll open the door for you to many things. I'm gonna go get fly because I've been wearing this since yesterday. But I don't get, I am. I just accentuate it differently every day. I love you. Continue to tune in and tune up on Welcome and Smile with the perfectly imperfect broadcast of what is life. I'm unashamed. I will share with you. <laughs>